So today I got another microphone to go over. I know, I know microphones, they're kind of turning into a thing here on this channel, but um, it's very interesting because I saw a video from Tom Buck that said that he would like to see more user replaceable battery 2.4 gigahertz wireless systems. And this is exactly that. So it's very cool. Uh, and I'm gonna jump right into this review. You're currently hearing it right now and we're gonna go over a lot of these features here today. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. I do that the gear review tutorials. Today, we're going over a very interesting product. It's been out for a little bit of time here, but I'm just now getting around to it. After seeing this video from Tom, I was like, I wonder if there is another system out there that has replaceable batteries. I'm surprised nobody's done one yet, but there is one and it's a little bit bigger, but it's still very small for what it is and it doesn't have a built-in microphone or anything like that. You still have to plug in an extra lab, which it does include, but all that is here on this system, and it's fantastic, I gotta say. I like seeing it like this. It's very light, it is kind of plasticky, so the build quality uh, is okay for what you're paying, though it's perfectly fine, and it could be a very good use. I would say, if I wanna say any downside before I start getting into all the good stuff about it, is I really wish it was USB-C, but I think this was made kind of in that weird transition period where there was still micro going on. So it is micro, it's kind of a bummer. That's how you charge these things. Just, and it includes those cables as well. This is a very interesting system. It's a 2.4 gigahertz system. It has six different audio channels that you can choose between. Um, and it is 24 bit audio. So you're getting really good high quality bit rate, obviously no 32 bit like all these newer ones are coming out with, but even then this is going only straight into your camera. So it's bound by whatever, you know, quality your, your camera can receive. But this thing does do 24 bit quality audio. Now, on this receiver, there is a mic level button or a line level button. So if you're like, you know, plugging in something that's not a microphone, like maybe like a guitar input or some other external source, like or a, a mix off of a soundboard for weddings, you know, you're trying to get their mix, you can press the lie level so you can, you know, have that, that little bit of a buffer for the audio is two different types of, of stuff. So that's a really cool, neat feature that I haven't really seen in a lot of other systems, especially these newer ones. And like I said earlier in the video, this has a removable battery. So you can remove it on here and the receiver, uh, the, the transmitter, they both use the same U5C battery or something like that. I haven't been able to figure out how much the battery costs by itself. I haven't really found it, but it, there is a three pack with like a little charger that um, they sell and it is $80. So the cool thing is there is replaceable battery options. So, you know, you buy this system, you're not kind of dead out of the water as long as they keep producing it, right? Um, and it's cool. That's nice because you don't have to like just throw the system away when the battery goes bad because with these other ones, you can't use or replace them. So that is a nice feature in and of itself. And it's also nice because you could just buy a bunch of extra batteries if you need to for your weddings and you can just swap them out in the middle of the ceremony. So these have like a five hour battery life. You get two sets, you can get a 10 hour wedding day with no issues so or you can even get more batteries and have even more you know swappability so that's a really big huge plus it does include this lab like i said there's no microphone built into this transmitter so you have a locking lab so yes you can put this in a pocket not worrying at all whether it's going to unclip and then obviously if you have those higher end sure and countrymen microphones that have the locking mechanism on there you can easily step those on there and lock them onto this thing and not worry about it. The another cool feature that this thing does happen to have, speaking about like locking, is you have a hold feature on the side of this transmitter right here. So you can turn this like thing up and when it's when it's when it switches in here, I can hit all these buttons and nothing is should be changing on the receiver. You can hit the buttons all day long, but as long as this is put, so you can put it on that hold function, put it in a pocket, snap it on the back of a dress, and not worry about your clients accidentally hitting some of these buttons and it losing it all. So 
like like I said, I'm using it right now. Now this thing is a dual system, so you can get this is I only have the single transmitter, but you can get the one with two, and you can have two microphones going to this, uh, and have full control. So we have a mono and a stereo mode. So obviously stereo, one microphone is on left side, one microphone is on the right side. However, when you're using a single uh, microphone, you can put it into mono mode too. And if you're not using the other side, you could actually have a safety track built in by one channel is, you can set it to one volume, which is what I'm currently doing right now. And the other side is set to negative five dB lower. So I do have a little bit of a buffer there in case my audio gets a little funky. I have a safety built in tr safety track there which is super convenient, super nice. And the other huge benefit that I found with this system is the hot shoe. It can snap onto the hot shoe no matter which direction, facing forward or facing behind. So if you're behind the camera, you can see the settings. If you're facing in front of the camera, like right now, I, I have it see, I can see my settings. I can see what channel it's on. I can see the volume. I can see all that stuff and I have no problems with it. Um, so that's really cool for content creators or people who are sh also shooting behind the camera you can face it whichever direction and the screen does face the front so it's not like on top like a lot of these other small 2.4 gigahertz systems so you can actually see it no matter what direction it is on your hot shoe heck you can even mount it to the side if you so desire to why would you want to do that i i got no idea but hey options so those are the really the big overviews of this system and i've been using it this entire video but Let's go outside and do a range test on this and compare it to, say, the DJI mic and just see what the sound quality difference is between the two systems. What I will do is I will use this included lav mic on the DJI and I will also use the DJI built-in microphone just so you can kind of get a feel for how the quality of this lav sounds to your ears and let you be the complete judge and if this system is for you or not. And then we'll come back here into the studio and do our final conclusions and final thoughts on everything. So let's get out there now. Whoa. All right, so now we are outside here, a beautiful sunny day here in Florida. I'm going to do a distance test for this thing. So right now I'm standing within arm's length of this camera and each of these little squares on the sidewalk is roughly like five feet. So it'll be a good decent test to see how far this can go without breaking up or with breaking up. Right now this I have the, the receiver in my front pocket here. So as I'm facing the camera, it should definitely get signal, but I don't, I don't even know what this is rated for. So this will be a very interesting test to see what kind of distance we can get out of this thing. All right, so I'm gonna keep walking and start talking. So right now, five feet away, I'm 10 feet away. My back's facing 15 feet away, about 20 foot away here. So this is 20 foot away from the camera all the way over here. All right, I'm gonna keep walking down the street. This is about, uh, 30 feet away right here, 40 feet away, somewhere around here, about 45 feet away right here, so uh, high all the way over here, 45 feet away. Test one, two, three, four, is this cutting out? It's a little bit of windy too. This thing, and we'll see how the wind is picking up. This is about, uh, about 65, 70 feet away right here. So we're going about 80 feet away, all the way over here. All right, yep, 90 feet away. I'm facing the camera. Test one, two, three. This is like 100 feet away here. All the way over here, yep, why not? Uh, well, let's, I'm gonna go way far down this, just because I'm really curious. I don't know anything about this system. This is a 2.4 gigahertz system. Test one, two, three. We'll see how far away it can go. Test one, two, three. I don't know if there's any crack outs. Blah, blah, blah. This has been out for, I don't know. I'm around this tree. I can't even see my camera right now. This is about, gosh, that is the distance test for this system. So it'll be interesting to listen to that and hear um, what that was like. Let's uh, compare this to the DJI. So right now you're listening to this from outside um, and this is with the lav, built-in lav. And now we're gonna compare this to the DJI system because it's one of those popular 
you know, labs that's like for the 2.4 gigahertz range. So we're gonna switch over to that right now and compare. All right, this is an audio test of the DJI mic with the included lav that came with the X5 system. So this will be kind of apples to apples for you to compare that because the X5 does not have built in microphone like the DJI system does. So how do you think this sounds? This is probably the closest comparison you can get as far as the system to system goes using the exact same microphones. How does the audio quality sound? Test one, two, three, test. All right, now here is a audio sample test of the DJI system. This is just going straight from the microphone itself that's built in into the camera. So you can kind of compare that all in all. Test one, two, three, do you think the internal microphone sounds better than the lav? Test one, two, three, test. All right, so what do I think about this product at the end of the day after watching that footage? I think it's pretty impressive. You know, it's got the same range about as like any other 2.4 gigahertz system. It started breaking up at about 150, 130, 150 feet. Um, and then, you know, when I got in line of sight, once again, turned around facing the camera, it was kind of keeping it up. However, you know, pretty much once you get past that 150 feet to once you get to 200 feet even when you're facing the camera it tends to break up sometimes so it still is a good enough amount of distance for any wedding i mean you, you put the camera in the back of the ceremony room you're and you're not gonna have any problems with it so that's that's pretty cool because because you have all that locking feature you've got the safety channel which i actually did use because i think the having the other side um I think it still distorted a little bit on the main channel for mine. So having that safety channel is great. I think as you get used to using the system, you'll figure out the settings that work best for you. Um, the, the sound quality sounded pretty good. Gotta say that the DJI mic built in microphone, it, it still holds up this even today, you know, it's crazy. So, uh, but yeah, having the external lab, it's easier to hide, easier to put a, you know, put up a shirt, clip onto a dress, put on inside of a jacket, you know, and, it, and it's all included, so. And then you can also use your own labs they, that screw on and lock. There's locking on both the receiver and the transmitter. It's a it's a good little system if you can get past the build quality in not having USB-C to charge it. But like I said, the benefits is you have all the benefits of the other systems. It's still fairly small and portable, but you can see the display, you can have the user and changeable batteries, so that's a huge thing. So you get five hours of life, and you can have spares on you on the side, so you can essentially get however many batteries of life you want to purchase on the side. So it, I, it's a really good system, I gotta say, for the money and the price. It's definitely still a contender, even though it's been out for a few years against these other ones. And like I said, use replaceable batteries. I mean, that's really all I can say about it. So uh, if you want to check the system out, links will be down in the description below. Uh, it looks like a great system for people who are shooting weddings and need a lot of those safety features like the hold where you know we can hit the things, locking transmitter buttons, the safety track, and the, obviously the ability to plug up two microphones to the system if you so desire. Check it out, links will be all down in the description below. At the very least, you learn something new and learn about another system that was out there. Uh, so cool, go check it all out. I got plenty more microphone videos coming in that have been on this channel. And I'm gonna be doing more Sony content. I know I've been saying it for a lot while, but I am, I'm trying to shift more so towards the Sony cameras because that's just what I'm more passionate about than microphones. I just kind of fell into the microphones. Anyways, so uh, check all the links down below, do all the fun new sweet things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future. We can find the answers in our minds.